Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the question of the day. If the recombination frequency between two genes is blank space, then the genes are most likely blank space. We have to choose one of these answers. So take a look. Imagine that we have one chromosome and another homologous chromosome. And here, for example, we have gene A, which is dominant capital, and on another chromosome in the same locus we have recessive allele A. And for example, this chromosome has dominant allele B here, and in the same locus another homologous chromosome has recessive allele B here. And during meiosis, crossing over may happen in multiple places between gene A and B. And as a result, we can get new recombinant chromosomes. For example, we can get a chromosome where on the same chromosome we are going to get dominant allele A and recessive allele B. And for example, recessive allele A and dominant allele B. And of course, as a result of meiosis, we also may have chromosomes which are, we say, parental genotypes. So would have dominant allele A and dominant allele B and recessive allele A and recessive allele B here, just like parental variants. So one we inherit from the mother side, another from the father side. So in our gametes we also may have these two chromosomes which didn't undergo the process of recombination and also we may have chromosomes which are a result of the recombination. And the greater distance between gene A and B, the higher probability that recombination may happen. But imagine that, for example, we have the same two homologous chromosomes, but now gene A would be here and gene B is going to be here. So capital B and small b here. And now as you see recombination probability would be much lower because of this distance that separate gene A and B. And the smaller the distance, the least probability that crossing over is going to happen between these genes. And in this scenario, we are going to have more of this type of chromosomes in the gametes than recombinants. So imagine that this was chromosome number one, one from the mother side, another from the father side, so homologous chromosomes. This is also the same chromosome number one, one inherited from the mother side, another from the father side. But also imagine that, for example, we may have two homologous chromosomes, number one and two homologous chromosomes, let's say number four. And again, we have, for example, dominant allele A here, recessive allele here. And let's say we have on the chromosome number four, dominant allele B here and recessive allele B here. And what we are going to find in the gametes, in this case, because these genes are on the different chromosomes, we are not going to have recombination between these genes, but in the gametes, in just one quarter, we are going to find this combination, in one quarter, this combination, in another quarter, this combination, and in another quarter, this combination. So one quarter, one quarter, one quarter and one quarter. And combinations are going to be capital A, capital B, capital A and small b, and another would be small a, capital B, and small a, small b. So if our genes show recombination frequency in the gametes which follow this pattern, that means that this genes are on different non-homologous chromosomes. If, for example, we have very few recombination product in the gametes, that means that these genes are very close on the chromosome. And if 
we have recombination frequency, which is going to be uh, close to these numbers, but not 25, 25 and 25 percent, but for example, let's say 20 percent, 20 percent, 40 percent and 40 percent. That means that these two genes are separated by the distance and for example, can be on the different tips of the chromosomes. In both these scenarios, we say that these genes A and B are linked. But for example, here the linkage is stronger than, for example, here. And if genes would be on the very tips of the chromosomes, we probably wouldn't be able to distinct this variant from this variant because our recombination frequency is going to be 50% and we are going to get the same ratio of 25, 25, 25 and 25% in the gametes. So now let's check our variance of answer. So one more time, if the recombination frequency between two genes is blank space, then the genes are most likely. So if recombination frequency is zero, that means that genes are so close together that there is no recombination happens between them. Next variant, if recombination frequency low, that means they are far apart. Actually not. If recombination frequency is going to be low, that means that genes are very close. So this is not true. Next, if recombination frequency higher, that means that genes are linked. Actually, the highest recombination frequency we can get when genes are on the different chromosomes. And the higher recombination frequency, it's harder for us to say that genes are linked. So the best answer would be if recombination frequency is higher, that means that genes are far apart. So this scenario. So this is going to be our choice. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.